Hi everyone, Sam here from The Skin Blog. In this video, I'll be talking to you about rosehip seed oil, also known as Rosa canina seed oil. Rosehip oil is known for its natural exfoliating and brightening properties, brought along by its unique blend of fatty acids, phenolic acids, carotenoids, and its unique content of tretinoin, a transretinoic acid, which isn't legal to be used outside of the pharmaceutical industry, except for a few natural sources, which include rosehip and cahai oil. While incredibly small in concentration, tretinoin involves no enzymatic changes within the skin, making it up to 2,500% more potent than even retinaldehyde, which is already another up to 2,500% stronger than the more commonly used retinol. It's well known for its orange coloration and reasonable pricing, making it an effective base oil for your formulation. Historically, rose hips have been used for their medicinal and cosmetic benefits throughout Egyptian, and Roman history, and even as recently as World War II. As far as I've read, claims show that rosehip were used as a citrus supplement due to the fact that they're far more potent in vitamin C than other citrus fruits, fruits such as oranges and lemons. All in all, rosehip oil is a dry oil with both a comogenic and absorption rating of 1, making it fast absorbing with minimal risk of clogging your pores. This is due to its rich, unsaturated fatty acid composition. Rosehip oil's shelf life averages between 6 to 12 months, which is relatively short for a commonly used base oil with cosmetic products. But with proper storage and the usage of antioxidants such as vitamin E and rosemary CO2 extract, you can extend the shelf life significantly. Its colour is yellow to dark orange. Usually this change will be down to if it's correctly stored or if it's been refined during its extraction process. It doesn't have a strong aroma and smells almost earthy to me. The seed yield is between 4 and 8%, which is quite low and will be the culprit of its price being higher than the most commonly used base oils. So as I mentioned about its shelf life being lower and its unsaturated fatty acid content, causing its iodine index to be between 150 to 194, depending on which supplier's documents you look at, this causes the oil to be heat sensitive, which will mean that you shouldn't be heating it above around 30 to 40 celsius or you will degrade the fatty acids and the other compounds within the oil itself. Rosehip oil's fatty acid profile consists of omega-6 linoleic acid at up to 55%, omega-3 alpha linolenic acid at up to 38%, omega-9 oleic acid at up to 18%, omega-7 palmitic acid at up to 10% and finally omega-9 satiric acid at up to 5%. With rosehip oils, linolenic and linoleic acid consisting of an overwhelming majority of the fatty acid profile, it makes it well known for its anti-inflammatory, anti-irritant, collagen and ceramide stimulating properties, while suppressing melanin helping to reduce pigmented base skin conditions. Its saturated fatty acid content consists of satiric and palmitic acid, which are known for their stability, while improving the emollient properties of your product helping to soften your skin while improving water retention. The oleic acid works similarly um, in strengthening your skin barrier, meaning it has a higher emollient property and improves water retention at a far better rate than the unsaturated fatty acids that are similar to it. While rosehip oil is also known for containing up to 9% phospholipids, which is uncommonly high, an oil and water soluble lipid that is fantastic for improving water retention within your skin, Combined with the small concentration of squalene, rosehip oil is fantastic for your skin barrier and preventing dry skin types. Chlorogenic acid has also been found within rosehip and is known for having anti-collagenase and tyrannase effects. In simpler terms, collagenase enzymes dissolve the bonds in collagen and reduce collagen content within your skin, causing premature aging. Chlorogenic acid essentially destroys these enzymes. Tyrannase is another enzyme that stimulates the production of melanin within your skin, protecting you from UV rays. Too much, though, can cause pigmentation and dark spots. This, alongside the linoleic acid content, will help you incredibly if you have hyperpigmentation or dark spots. The cumaric acid, also found within rosehip oil, is known for providing similar benefits when it comes to collagenase and tyrannase, and its improvement of pigmentation and preventing premature aging alongside potent antioxidant benefits. Now there's minimal information on this, but there are small quantities of vitamin K found within rosehip oil, helping to support the oil's dark circle improving properties alongside collagen stimulation. 
Roasted boil's carotenoid content consists primarily of beta-carotene, alongside lutein, zeaxanthin, and lysipine, all of which provide antioxidant benefits, with beta-carotene being known as pro-vitamin A, due to it being a precursor to retinol within your skin, providing acne-reducing antioxidant benefits, alongside improving pigmentation-based skin conditions. The tretinoin found within rosehip oil equivalates to 0.357 mg per litre, or the equivalent of up to 8.925 mg of retinildehyde. While retinildehyde usually is added into a formula at around 500 mg per litre, this equivalates to around 2% of the quantity that can naturally be found. So when people say you need to add chemicals to a product to make it good, you don't. You can get those benefits naturally, they just won't be as potent. But the same benefits will come into effect, such as improved acne, scar tissue, improvements in your skin's pigmentation, overall cellular regeneration, and more. Better yet, you'll have a far lower risk of a reaction and burn or burning sensation to rosehip than you would to vitamin A products. The vitamin E content is quite high with up to 976 mg per litre, consisting of 116 mg of alpha tocopherol, 630 mg of gamma tocopherol, and 230 mg of delta tocopherol, perfect for providing an increased lifespan for rosehip oil's unsaturated fatty acid content, while reducing your skin's lipid peroxidation, and even strengthening your cellular membranes. As mentioned, rosehip is commonly used as a base ingredient, but it can also be used as a secondary oil, if you're wanting to add a more reputable ingredient within your formula. So we know of 16 suppliers, 14 of which are unrefined. If you're in the UK, I would recommend makers ingredients who've always been good with the ingredients I've bought from them, offering organic and unrefined rosehip oil for around £59.45 per litre. If you're in the US, try Coco Jojo, who offer it for $40.99 per litre for natural unrefined rosehip oil. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please subscribe and leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to know. Talk soon.